This video is focused on TIE Fighters in all its forms. Um, I've looked at the TIE Fighter in previous videos, but I wanted to take a look at you know, the different aspects of it. I, the last videos were focused on dog fighting, and I wanted to look at other things that the TIE Fighter could do and the different forms that it takes. Uh, there's three different types of TIE Fighters. I'll start with the basic form. I had set up uh, a scenario on the moon where I was going to do uh, a battle running down this trench and uh, just to show that the the TIE fighter can actually fly in space in a similar way as in atmosphere using the landing engines to kind of control uh, its positioning similar to what would happen in space flight. So it actually it works quite well. You, you can maneuver around but what happens is in space you don't slow down so I actually ended up going into um, uh, a, not beyond orbit to uh, and exiting the the sphere of influence of the moon so I had to what I wanted to do is also show the landing capabilities and so I just l slowed down so that I could drop down and land in this little crater um, the TIE Fighter basically is a spacecraft like any other and it's got all the aspects of a lunar lander. It's got the landing gear, it's got a command module, it's got RCS and SAS. And if you control from uh, the top port, you can actually land it the same way you would any other lunar lander vehicle. And it works really quite great. You can, uh, once you're there, you can pop your guy out and put a flag on the moon and you can hop back in. Or you can set up for another ambush for the next craft that comes by. I had also set one up on Duna that I didn't end up using. It was going to attack the Millennium Falcon after the Falcon blew up the, uh, the TIE interceptor. So I wanted to just kind of show Duna is, is a lot like uh, an airless moon. Um, it's got very little atmosphere and so you still need to use the the same techniques to 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 fly on Duna that you would on an airless moon especially with a TIE fighter because they have such small wing surfaces so you use the landing engines uh, when it's flying you use them to simulate wings and then when you want to land you can land it like any other lander on the surface of Duna. Uh, in this case I'm gonna land it close to the hammerhead which I blew up uh, with the the TIE interceptor and so I'm gonna land it close by and, and that allows me to set up a scenario where I can fly both craft and have a, a little bit of a dogfight. That's not really the focus of this video but I thought it would be neat to to do that since I have it set up to do that with the TIE fighter instead of the, the TIE interceptor. The main, the, like the regular TIE fighter actually works better in space uh, than the interceptor because it's heavier. It's got those I-beams in the wings and so that gives it more momentum and what you want in space is you want a little bit more mass because you don't want too much acceleration. Uh, the craft need to match speeds in order to get close to each other and uh, be able to fire the missiles and if you've got very little mass you actually increase your speed quite dramatically and quite quickly and that tends to uh, cause you to lose control of the craft and so I, I missed it was, it was a terrible scenario I mean I was just trying it out missed the craft but it ended up crashing into the ground so you know that's kind of a victory but I I really wanted to actually shoot and hit the craft so I set up another scenario where you know it's just a sitting duck so I just shot at it and I kind of have to eat my own words because in a previous video I said that you couldn't blow things up just by shooting missiles at them well apparently you can and uh, I did it just there and I actually set up another scenario looking through the cockpit window and did it again uh, so you can actually if you do it right you can blow stuff up uh, using just missiles in the stock game and the missiles are basically just separatrons and uh, a decoupler so there you have it that's the the basic uh, TIE fighter on on other planets other than Kerbin um, and now the TIE fighter comes in three basic forms uh, 
the, the regular TIE fighter, the TIE uh, interceptor, and the TIE advanced. And they've all got the same core. It's just the wings that are different, actually. And the TIE advanced, we'll take a look at. It's basically, it was going to be a bomber. I did put a bomb on it. But uh, the, the TIE bomber is different, so I'll probably be revisiting that later. This one is also known as Vader's ship, or the, the TIE advanced. So it's basically a TIE fighter that looks different. It's got a little extra uh, um, fuel tank in the back. Um, it's got different wings. These wings are, are tough to control in atmosphere, so this is actually uh, a good vehicle to use in space. So if you want to set up a space battle, this would be a good vehicle to do that with. So I dropped the bomb there. It flies pretty much in a straight line. doesn't drop very fast because there's not a lot of weight in there. Um, but I mean, it, it's basically just uh, another form of the TIE fighter. Uh, for this one, if you're using it in atmosphere, the landing engines are actually quite helpful to, to get it to maneuver. Uh, so then looking at the, uh, the TIE interceptor, we, I had already done this in a previous video uh, where I had the interceptor on Duna. Uh, but in fact, that's not the best place for, for the interceptor. The interceptor is the, the, has the least wing area and that makes it the lightest craft which makes it the fastest and most maneuverable and in fact it is an excellent flyer you don't need the landing engines at all to maneuver around in Kerbin's atmosphere so if, if you're going to do dog fighting on Kerbin uh, the TIE interceptor is definitely the craft that you want to have and uh, if you're using BD armory even more so uh, because it'll allow you to fly around and, and shoot up the place uh, a lot better than any of the other craft as a matter of fact, it's so maneuverable that I was actually able to fly underneath the bridge and survive coming out the other side. So I was pretty happy about that. So basically, it's the it's you know the the three different versions of the same craft, uh, and all of them, you know, for the most part, they're all going to get blown up quite often. And so I set them up with self destruct, and all that is is a little separatron that's facing a part that when the Separatron gets staged, the part blows up. And there I've got it uh, blowing a wing off and then losing control and, and blowing up. And that was all staged. Uh, and of course, I put a parachute on just because I want to make sure my pilots are okay. And sure enough, you know, safe landing. So there you have it, the TIE Fighter in all its forms.